To my mind, the concept of precision medicine is not simply doing a genetic test or a genetically targeted drug, but bringing together all the tools that we need to diagnose, to molecularly stratify patients so we can pick the right interventions, to have molecular and functional imaging so that we can follow the results of treatment in real time in the patients, and to combine those in early stage disease with optimal surgery and optimal radiotherapy and ultrasound and other looking modalities. So you're really accepting the fact that diagnosis and treatment is complex, but you need to be able to combine all of your tools uh, to maximize the chance of any single patient being cured. I think, uh, I mean, I think a number of places around the world, and uh, to some extent in the UK, are beginning to see that you have to bring multiple modalities together. I mean, you can't simply have an early phase drugs trials unit and expect that to lead to major advances. That the problem is actually more complex than that. I think to a fully realized version of what precision therapy is in my mind, I don't think you'll find anywhere in the world at this point in time. I mean, I've been working for the last five years to try to persuade Oxford University to build one with some progress. But it's, get, it's the ability to get all of the appropriate people together either in a single facility or working together in a coordinated way you know, to maximize the patient's chance of being cured and to focus on the patients that you're most likely to cure and where big gains might be made. Um, which isn't to say that you'll ignore the patients with widespread or metastatic disease, but I think that the most effective therapies are likely to come to them from therapies that we can show produce significant advances in cure. And you know, the platinum result that Professor Johnson talked about is a perfect example. I mean, we discovered you could use it to cure testicular cancer, which is quite a rare disease. But then having made that discovery, we went expanded it to treat much more common diseases and to improve the cure rate for them. So we use it routinely now to treat head and neck cancer and lung cancer and cervical cancer, very common cancers, where we can dramatically improve the outcome by adding platinum to the treatment. But that observation came initially from that early observation of testicular cancer. And that's what we need to get smarter about doing, is how to transfer important early discoveries into more effective combined modality therapies for larger groups of patients.